Back in April, the US Open site was being converted into a 350-bed emergency hospital. Now it's safely facilitating 256 players, their teams and officials, including ASU's tennis conditioning coach Brett Waltz. In his 11th year as a tour physio, Waltz found out he was heading to the US Open earlier this month. You know, they're, they're optimistic that all these tournaments were going to be played, but in the back of their mind, there was always that, that, that doubt since tournaments were being cancelled, you know, as we got deeper into the calendar. This is about our tennis community coming together on the world stage to be able to demonstrate that we know how to, to do this and how to return to competition in a safe way. The risk of COVID-19 outweighed the chance of lifting the silverware for the likes of world number one, Ash Barty, and world number two, Rafael Nadal. But after nearly half a year off the tour, players at the other end of the rankings see all that the Summer Slam has to offer. It's a bit of a different story for me. You know, I'm trying to break into the top 100. Um, I haven't made as much money as they have. And, you know, the paycheck this week is really good. As many as six hardcore tournaments preceded the 2019 US Open. This year, some players were lucky if they played one. Waltz is working with three American young guns, but says the slam will show players how good a shape they're actually in. We've already, with, with some of my guys, I mean, we're getting pretty sore and, and we're feeling things that normally we, we don't feel when we're on a full travel schedule. It's going to be tough just because, yeah, we, I haven't had that kind of match play at that level um, for a while. But, you know, I know a lot of the girls are probably not feeling their best as well. The US Open will be the first time players will step back onto a court of its stature since January. With both their physicality and mentality being put to the test, it'll be a matter of who can dust off the cobwebs the quickest. You just want it so bad after so long. And it is a slam, so sometimes it just turns it up a little bit more. But, um... I'm not trying to put too much pressure on myself and just, yeah, go out there and fight as hard as I can. With no fans in the stands to cheer them out of a set deficit, players will have to find other ways to motivate themselves. The path to lifting the trophy in a fortnight's time will look different, but the prestige and prominence will be just as prevalent. Rachel Phillips, Cronkite Sports.